We're going to talk about business concepts now. Business concepts are developed around a field of play that you had selected with your leadership team. They basically have selected one field of play of many that you have presented. And in that field of play that you have selected now, you have to again generate more business ideas and concepts and make that field of play richer. And, 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 and as you collect more dots around that, you'll be able to um, generate better business concepts. But the point about the business concept here is that now you've got strategic focus. And in that strategic focus, you need to generate three to five business concepts. Why not? Why, not? Why more than one? Because if you get three to five, you'll provide your leadership team a feeling that you look broadly for many concepts, and then you're giving them a chance to choose one which they will feel much more excited about. If you were to just choose one business concept, then there'll be an issue that they may feel that you were not as complete in your, in your research. So present to them five business concepts. And what we are gonna spend a little bit of time about is the concept itself. Concepts are not idea fragments. Uh, we've got a big philosophy on this. And many people, when they talk about ideas, um, they're actually not complete, they're incomplete. A concept is a complete idea of, 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 of which, which if you were to present it to somebody on an elevator, they will understand exactly what you're talking about. And, 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 and it can help you make a decision whether you want to invest into it. So business concepts, unlike idea fragments, are complete. And when you communicate with somebody else, they can understand whether they would like to invest into it. And in this section, we spend a lot of time in terms of helping you figure out how to build a business concept versus an idea fragment. So now let's talk about the individual process steps in this section. So what we ask is that you think about your prioritized field of play and you think of some more dots. You go back to your step three or your step two, think of more dots for the business opportunity map around that prioritized field of play. Then we ask, look at your business opportunity map and select a particular idea fragment you have on there. It could be around a particular market or an offering that you think is exciting or has high potential for the company. And then we say, use that as your anchor idea fragment and build it out. So for example, if you start with a particular offering, now think about how you're gonna produce that offering. And look to the business opportunity map on that specific row and pick out more idea fragments. Now do the same for the market you'll be targeting, the delivery mechanisms or the channels you'll be using, the business model you'll be using and the partners you'll need. So now you start to have a more complete concept and we've provided a template which has each of those sections and what you should wind up with is a single slide where if somebody reads it, they say, okay, I understand what that concept is, I understand what you're trying to do, and I can make a decision about whether or not I would put money behind that, if I would put $10 behind it. And the idea is you could talk about this in about 30 seconds. It's a 30 second elevator pitch about your concept. Okay, so this business concepts are complete. So if somebody were to ask a question about who's gonna be your customer, it should be able to explain the customer group it's gonna talk about. If somebody were to ask about what channels, how will you distribute this, some way in that will capture that answer. Mm -hmm. If somebody were to ask you what partners are you going to use to be able to make this, produce this, or distribute this, again, somewhere in this business of, uh, this co concept, it will be captured. Yeah. And, and, and the ease for which it's communicated to somebody else is because it's written in a systematic way. Right, it has all the components to it. To, to and the other thing that we ask is, look at this concept and now summarize it in a single sentence. Summarize it in no more than 20 words so that if someone says, what's your concept? You can in less than 30 seconds say, this is it. And they say, okay, I got it. Okay. And, and, and then, in the, of course, this will organize your thinking as to what your business concept is. And what we will encourage you to do after that is to make sure you can visualize it. Right. And so we have given you all the elements to describe the business idea across your team. But in order to communicate it to somebody, you will have to take that information and make it into much more of a visual graphic, which says, here's the customer, perhaps a picture of the customer. Uh, here's what the offering could be. Here's how we will actually distribute it. And as you draw this visual, it's amazing that most people are much visual than verbal or bullet points. So PowerPoint is perhaps not the best way to communicate it, but pictures are probably a better way to communicate it. So you want to think very hard on how you take that business concept, which is in, in, in a very structured format, and moving it to a visual. And what we would encourage you to do, if you, once you do the visual slide of it, is to take it and show it to everybody. 
And this, everybody says, I get the business idea that you have, then you're on target, you got it. But if they don't understand it, keep on working on it to make sure it's easy for people to understand. Yeah, I think, I think you highlight a good point there, which is we have outlined what are the major pieces. It's almost like saying, if you wanna make a landscape painting, you need mountains, you need clouds, you're gonna need some water and some grass. But if you just list those as, as bullet points and say, here's my landscape painting, people say, okay, I get it, but it's not that interesting. Now, when you actually paint it and it has all those elements and you have some way of visualizing it, people are more interested, they become more excited about it. So whether it's a sketch, whether it's taking photos that already exist, the more you can visualize it, the more you're able to sell the idea.